I am joined now by AGA President Dr. John Allen and ASGE President Dr. Colleen Schmidt talking about really the highlight here at DDW and that is the presidential plenary, the joint presidential plenary. Right. Three hours, I know could be so much longer. There is so much <laughs> packed in here. Can you talk about the highlights? Well, first I'd like to say that it's just a distinct honor that I get to work with Colleen and it's been a wonderful partnership to put this very scientific, very cutting edge plenary session together between the AGA and the ASGE. So I, I want to start with that and really thank you for all that we've done together. Yeah, it's been a great experience. We have a plenary session that I think incorporates everything from the best pharmacological treatments for chronic diseases to new cutting edge endoscopic techniques to training and education. So it's going to be an interesting plenary. It's so all-encompassing. It is. So the way we've set this up is to have keynote speakers in various topics. And that's really paired with the best of science from cutting edge research presented in 10 minute abstracts. So for example, from the AGA side, we have a keynote speaker on obesity and metabolic health. We have one on inflammatory bowel disease and the intersection between the microbiome and inflammatory bowel disease with new treatments targeted. And the third is an overview of the genetics and epigenetics that are important to gastroenterologists. And we've paired abstracts very specifically with those talks to really present the most cutting edge on these broad topics. So that's followed by a description of how our professional society can bring value to the practice, followed by a talk on a new intragastric balloon device that can be incorporated into sites who want to learn how to uh, develop endoscopic bariatric practices within their clinical setting. We have uh, a talk by an expert on the uh, PIVI process, which was developed by the society, that actually looks proactively at new technologies and how can we preserve and incorporate those valuable technologies into our practice. So that segues from the intragastric balloon device into other new technologies and a presentation on that topic. I see the two of you getting along so well personally, but I think that collaboration between AGA and ASG really has been so instrumental in advancing this practice. I agree. I think it's such a nice compliment because gastroenterologists in general do a lot of procedures, endoscopic procedure, and then switch over to um, almost scientific-based cognitive work as well. And so I think this plenary really illustrates the what we do as gastroenterologists and, and also looking ahead, what we're going to need to incorporate into our practices. It's hard to anticipate what the future is, but I think probably both of our addresses actually look at that. What is the future in view of the past and our current experience? And one of the things that we worked on together very effectively has had some really tangible results and you'll hear some of that discussed in our plenary addresses. So we've done a lot of advocacy work together, for example. Uh, we've also worked to help develop new guidelines that can be incorporated into practice and we can mention that as well. Clearly Absolutely. talking about some of the innovation, but also that forward focus and, and what does the future hold? That's right. Right, and, and it's, it's becoming clearer, but it's still very, very disturbing to many physicians, not only gastroenterologists. And, and what we're gonna try to bring is you know, plans for the future that really meet some of these challenges. So for both of you who have worked so long and hard to put this all together, <laughs> what do you hope the attendees are going to walk away with after being there? I think there'll be a number of positives, take homes that they can immediately go back and incorporate into practice. So one of the studies that we'll be presenting uh, actually looks at high definition white light plus chromoendoscopy in the detection of dysplasia among patients with inflammatory bowel disease. That's a technique that they can take home and immediately incorporate into practice. I think the whole concept of gastroenterology getting into obesity and metabolic health work is just going to be very important and that's something that traditional gastroenterologists have not really entered that sphere but there's a combination of incredible advancements in the science of, of how appetite and how um, satiety works and then couple that with endoscopic techniques that 
promote weight loss, I think that kind of combination will be immediately usable to attendees when they go back and start thinking about how to develop and how to change their own practices. And these are topics that are critical for the patients they treat as exactly. well. Dr. Exactly. Allen, Dr. Schmidt, thank you so much. We enjoyed it. Thank we you. We enjoyed it. Thank you.